anime, being yourself, abuse, a death in the family, and family issues over in the next scene. Bub's got beats. Tasky on the beat. You're now tuned in with the Up Next Lifestyle. I'm your host, Hugh Up Next. And on this channel, I aim to encourage the everyday man while giving him a dose of red pill motivation. And in this segment, I call it the Red Pill Middle Ground, where I bring in guests, mostly content creators, and sometimes special guests to discuss various topics of what's going on in society today. I will ask them red pill style questions. You don't want to miss it over in the next scene. What's good, bro? What's popping, bro? What's the word with you, man? All right, we good. Nico in the building. Nico in the building. Hey, y'all, this is did it. This is excuse me, I'm messing up. Broski Nico, y'all. This is Broski Nico. Yeah. Tell them more about your channel, bro. Tell um, them who you are and everything. Introduce yourself. My name is Broski Nico. Broski, most of us call me. Um, I do make anime co content, mostly like live action content, mm -hmm. like visual effects from like. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, basically kind of like making like a Marvel type of type of thing, effects and stuff like that. So, yeah, and I'm a Twitch streamer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have all the links down below. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel, smash the know the bill. What got you into anime? Let them know what age and everything. Uh, what was your first anime I, and what's your favorite? Let them know. My favorite. Okay, we gonna go with what started me anime. Um. To be is my mom, it's my OG. Um, she okay. had me like I remember us like me just really like being around her. And then my mama loved uh, mystery movies, so like for mystery shows like Scooby Doo. It ain't Scooby Doo an anime, but it's referenced uh there's an anime called Case Clothes. Now I just remember what her watching it and uh I just remember growing up, I finally found it, went past it and remember watching it and then I've been stuck with anime ever since then. Yeah. Um, okay, so growing up in a black community, how important is it to, to you to embrace individuality? I know you say you like anime and all of that, all of that. You know, most people try to hide that they like anime for some reason, even though we know a lot of people watch it. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z growing up. Yeah. Okay, let me know. Like with me, it's just more so like, you gotta embrace yourself at the end of the day, like no matter what. What it, what it would be anime, sports, whatever. Just be yourself for, for like, and me like an anime is just don't nobody really like it for for a world now because it's so mainstream and so acceptable. But like in the early two thousands, you get bullied, nerd. You uh, walking in high school, you feel me? They knocking your books down. You feel me? They ripping your page and stuff like that. Dead serious, bro. You feel me? It ain't never really happened to me, but it's like you'll be like, oh, nerd, this and the third, and like you know, and this is. Other black people are doing it because they don't know or think it's it's not the norm. You know, back then it wasn't the norm. So, just as far as embracing your in the agile, it's just like you really gotta be yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with being yourself, man. You go far being yourself, man. <laughs> okay, so what is being yourself like? What does that mean? How do you discover yourself? Because, like you said, going to school and everything, you got so many different influences. How do you do? You have uh, to take on discovering yourself. That's that, that's a broad perspective, but it's just like really like enjoying yourself what you like, if okay. whatever the case may be. Like really like just because somebody else don't like it or somebody don't partake in doesn't mean that you can't like it, you know? Like there's people who like sports, there's people who like basketball, there's people who like football. I don't like football, but I'm not ready to bash tape on people who like football. I just don't like football, you know? But I like okay. sports, you feel me? I like but I don't really partake in it because it don't strike my interest for it, you know? And yeah, which is okay. I, I, I agree. Yeah, so. I agree. That's, yeah. that's a very good answer. Uh, why is it considered, like you said, lame and, and stuff? Why is it considered lame to watch? Um, because a lot of, uh, in my perspective, bro, it's like masculinity, I think. That's the word for it. It's like, or, if it's, or it's more so probably feminine, I guess. Like, anime is for cartoons. But, well, it's not feminine, but it's more so like, it's kiddish. You're saying they, they view it as feminine and kiddish. That's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, it's more so like that. Like, only like people 
who are 8, 10 watch cartoons still, you know? But it's not a cartoon because it has a backstory to it. And it's like, people don't know the difference, you know? Like, there's Family Guy. Then you would have, like, Naruto. There's a totally different perspective on it, you know? It's more mm-hmm. comedy, whatever the case may be. And it's United States content versus overseas content, you know? Like, they have mm-hmm. morals behind it and, like, life lessons and different perspectives on life, whether it be there's religions, there's slice of life, which means it's, like, everyday high school stuff or everyday life going to, going job to job, whatever the case may be. There's horror. You feel me? Just, like, a movie, movie category, you know, whatever mm-hmm. you are taken to if you don't get me wrong now there's some stuff that you don't need to be watching you think that's <laughs> quote unquote like you know <laughs> it's all like hentai yeah like you feel me like there's some people who enjoy it you think there's some people who just watch it for the art i know females that watch hentai you feel me they're not to be on no sexual stuff but they watch it just because of the storyline you feel me you know so it's just it's different stuff for different folks you know <laughs> so they really people. just think because it's animation they look at it like it's for kids yeah like because like when you grow up versus okay when you grow up okay at a certain age they probably figure like at a certain age you don't need to be watching elmo no more you know what i'm saying but this is not even elmo this is what they're not understanding yeah like yeah like it ain't it's like a series bro there's some people who watch like even like it's bro i'm getting on a tangent but like people like uh-huh. batman like people who like Batman still like technically Batman is a car- is a cartoon animation or whatever the case may be but what who's Bruce Wayne making millions you feel me like the person I forgot Adam West he's into mm-hmm. cosplay and technically that's a cosplay Pe- the people who made uh, Marvel ba- Black Panther that's a cosplay right. he's, a, he's a million dollar cosplay you know multi-millionaire you know so like I don't see why people get like bash us or bash our community a thing we were laying when the same people you actors that you like do the same thing you know and what we, i don't understand just, is with anime it got a whole bunch of cussing raunchy content it's not really even for kids it's really for like to me adults for yeah, like, like teens and adults and mature adults yeah like some don't get me wrong the whole category like it can be e like on game on some game on some like xbox game that's ready e Rated teen, rated M for mature. You feel me? Like that's as a whole perspective, bro. Like they even got like, like anime can range from live action. There's, they got Japanese Power Rangers, bro. For people mm-hmm. consider it's, you feel me, animated. But it's like it is what it is. But then they have anime cartoons like My Hero, which is quote unquote hero, which is Marvel. You know, depends what you per- what you like. So like, I just wish people understand the concept of it instead of just like bash it first without understanding you see don't judge a book before it's covered you know read it first you know <laughs> i totally agree yeah um let's um do you have an experience where you were being made fun of for like an in for liking and watching anime whether it was from your family friends etc yeah for sure for sure like not to get personal but yeah my brother go ahead, go ahead. yeah my brother like me and my brother don't get along and like he always thought i was uh i guess Pussy, you feel me, my bad person, <laughs> but for watching this stuff, for like spending hours in my room watching this versus versus him trying to teach me some stuff that involves street stuff, you feel me, or manly stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I just be chilling, you feel me? Like, I just be chilling. Some people are, some people can't function in society, you know what I'm saying? Some people are introverts and uh, extroverts, you know, or somebody in between. I just a person that just came home from school. Thought this stuff was cool. It entertains me. It makes me happy. And I watch it. You feel me? Like, nothing more, nothing less. So it didn't, you know, and then, um, but my brother used to really, like, get on me, like, bash me, like, mentally, not really physically, but more so mentally, because he thought it was being childish or pussy, you feel me, or feminine, you know? Right. I so, think it's, in my opinion, it sounds like it's two extremes. Like, why he couldn't allow you to watch anime and, okay, now let me show you how to on his car whatever he was trying to teach you that was masculine and you yeah. could, you could have involved yourself in it but it sounds like he wanted you to do not, this, but you wanted it was, to, it was like known. on the bad side on the bad side like on some street stuff you feel me like <laughs> yeah advice type of thing yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like like this is like why are you why are you teaching me or trying to let me come here bro and teach me this when i'm 11 you know what i'm saying just to help uh, he was trying to teach you how to work on those cars he was trying to teach you about the life Nah, <laughs> but like you feel me on some like street stuff, like on some real like 
that was like the street life, life. The, the life. Yeah. The, like that type of life. Yeah. Yeah. Street life. yeah versus uh, just, yeah versus like a regular smuggler job. You feel me? So like we used to be like he, he used to like come in here, you ain't this, you ain't that, you know. So uh, just because I like anime, you know. But like I don't get the I don't I don't get it, bro. Like okay, so with all the stereotypes on how a black man should be, does that hinder your creative process in any way? You know, like you were saying about thinking about maybe or uh, the black community or whatever community you're reaching for might not accept it because they feel like oh you're a grown man doing this does that kind of like hinder your process sometimes it like now it kind of does like uh not really not more so now it took my it took my friend uh who passed away to really tell me like you got this you feel me no matter what keep going you know what i'm saying but no nah, i don't like no nah, i don't really think of it so much because it's like i don't need i never need it like black history to know how great i was you know what i'm saying like i never needed that to know how powerful i am or i'm, I'm a king you know i just knew that what i love I mean, how great i could be if i put in the work and time and time and effort you know so as far as the black community nah i never i ain't never really seen no hate before like oh like on my end i ain't never seen hate but as far as it like i done seen people like on tiktok they get like they would be like uh naruto's not black or Goku's not black, you feel me? And Goku's not white either. So he's, what does that mean by that? Uh, so just because black. he's not black or white, you can't watch it. Go ahead. No, me... it's more so like you can't you can't cosplay, which cosplay is like the outfit. You can't dress up as. Oh, okay. And you can't be that I'm black. I can't just dress up as a black Superman because I'm black. How has an anime made an impact on your life? It just makes me creative. Like it really makes me creative. It really makes me put in this perfect. Uh, a different perspective on life like mm -hmm. uh, far as in like I said like Naruto for example believe in yourself be confident in yourself uh, most of these animes are kind of like they're not always human you know they're always something wrong with, with society or they got powers that they gotta hide or something like that and they gotta deal with coping with it you know so it's like uh, that's, with, with that being said like those are flaws technically to a certain right. extent they can be flaws so like, they gotta uh, work hard and train to keep these quote unquote powers or flaws under control. Nothing they're gonna get lashed out or get death or something, you know? So uh, that just made me realize like how never to never limit yourself because that's quote unquote, like there's these animes that they break their own limits. They get to the next level, like Dragon, like, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z for example, like there's Goku, you know? made Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, you feel me? So, it's just, if you train hard, work hard, you feel me, you can get whatever you think you want, you know? So that's how it really impacted me. Um, and like I said, my creativity has been up to the almost high, you feel me? Because I can really lock in and try to like, uh, copy the same stuff when I do my videos, you know? Or try to like interpret my perspective on it and change it. So, in I ain't gonna lie, and, like, anime has made me, like, a more, like, uh, I guess, like, compassionate, caring person, you feel me, mm -hmm. yeah, you feel me, like, every, sometimes, like, everybody, I feel like everybody ain't always evil, you feel me, which that's a downfall, because I, I don't really, uh, it's a downfall, and it's a gift in the curse, because you can trust the wrong person, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, exactly. I, 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 I see, I always see, like, the good in people, but it's like, oh, some people ain't always good, you know, some people ain't got true intentions, so. Yeah. Good, good, good. Let's move on to uh, mental health. Oh, yeah. Okay, what is your experience with mental health and does the black community take therapy serious? Why or why not? Um, what was the first one? What was the first part that you said again? What is your experience with <laughs> mental experience health? Of the health, ooh, the first, like I said, first, my, my part, part of my first is me 12 years old having my mom pass away. You feel me? I, at the time, I had a, I was 12 years old. My mom passed two weeks after my birthday. My birthday's in February. She died like two weeks after. Right? So uh, knowing that, I had to uh, deal with that by my not really by myself, but like not having somebody to uh, go home to every day. Which I had my dad now, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, that that's part of the first trauma that I had growing up because like it was so it was so new to me. You feel me? And I had to deal with. 
I had to deal with it on my own kind of kind of like my dad was there for me everybody was probably there for me but that's when like i had to go to school mama mm -hmm. jokes she sucked this she sucked that you know Ooh. but then after i had to grow out of that mindset my stuff i went to uh i went to therapy for years medicine for years like <laughs> i don't like for like at least at least probably 10 plus years maybe since i was probably eight though so like i'm 25 bro that's over damn near 10 years or way over 10 years bro. but uh mm -hmm. um that probably messed up my mental as far as in like development skills and stuff and stuff like that because I, I noticed after like probably like high school or well, during high school i felt like a zombie you know what i'm saying so like that's the mental i had to like focus it made me focus so much to the point where it's like i didn't have emotions for real, for real. I, I couldn't keep my emotions uh intact or controlled by my own and then but also in high school i was dealing with stuff at home getting mental abuse and getting physical abuse against my brother so that's part of the second one that's part of the main trauma that i had growing up yeah. knowing knowing that you somebody's supposed to be your blood or kin you feel me treating you like this you feel me for no for no reason because somebody else you feel me as far as our, my situation is he he don't do this or he didn't like me or treat me right because of what my mother did it, you know what i'm saying versus mm -hmm. versus my older brother him trying to get up and complain and be upset to them too because that's the, that's their kids too but being that he's older and i'm the youngest i'm not going for it you're not ready to bully me you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. like you know, that's like bro like it's a difference between brother love and then abuse you feel me that's a total total difference you feel me so like there will be times where like I didn't. I didn't want to go home, but there's times where I wanted to go home in my room, but I was kind of scared to go go or talk to be in the same vicinity as him. You feel me? Yeah. But I was go in my room. You feel me? My dad didn't really like believe me per se because he is. I don't know. He's older. You feel me? Some people just. I don't know. Um, but I dealt with that between probably 13, no, probably 14 to probably. 18 19 you feel me probably 18 probably 17 though so that's a good three years or four years of hell that i had to go through bro you feel me a mental abuse so this that and the third but i try to get therapy for other stuff too but like therapy don't help people you know it ain't like it helped me for a little bit of time but it helped me with my with my to deal with my mother passing away and my stepmom issues with my stepmom as far as that goes it never helped me with my brother situation because it didn't matter you feel me and for therapists, bro, I feel like, honestly, I can get therapy from somewhere else, bro. I can, I can call my dad, I can call whoever, and talk for five minutes. You feel me? My dad used to waste time out his day. And me in high school, he get out, he do a half a day with that 12. And I go to this doctor and talk for 15 minutes. You feel me? My dad just wasted money. You feel me? Mad money. <laughs> and he had to pay co-pay, co which is only like, like $20, but that adds up every week. You feel me? Yeah, it does. You know what I'm saying? So like, I stopped. I stopped going to therapy when I was 21. I just stopped going. My dad was like, "If you want to go, you can go. You got to go on your own and stuff like that." And I felt like my dad always told me this. He wished my mom never put me on medicine because it hinders me a lot. You feel me? A lot of I a lot of stuff as far as my emotions, my thought process, and just me in general you feel me like I don't, I don't catch on as quick as somebody else you feel me but i can catch on but it may take me a month or like two months to catch on how to do something you know versus a normal person you know but uh, the therapy part bro it just is i feel like it was a waste of time like i wasted my time i could i could have sat down and meditated and been fine bro <laughs> so you feel as if the uh professional therapy is bad I mean, I, I really don't feel like it's too bad. I, you know, it, 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 it depends. It, it all depends on what what the situation, what what yeah. the really factor is. Because, like I said, you can you can have uh, like he's like like we had like I had talked before about people who are uh, schizophrenic. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like a whole different mental health problem. You know. Right, a whole but, different one. So, what is the best type of therapy then? What is your best type of therapy? Is it I do. Or what is it? That again? Is it content creating or just let me know what's your best type of therapy and give them some ideas? The best, y'all, to be honest with the people who gonna watch it, I feel like meditating is a good uh, way to 
gather your thoughts and really help you clear your mind. Like with me, it's all, I'm all about keeping your mental mental health in check because you can't do nothing in this world if your mental is messed up. You feel me? You won't. Yes. It's, if you, if you wait, like people say, like, did you wake up on the wrong side of bed? You really can't wake up the wrong side of bed and mess up your whole entire day and be unproductive and feel like you got this dark trauma against you that you don't feel being productive. You feel me? That's countless days where I feel like I ain't nothing. I ain't nothing. I ain't going to work today. I ain't going to do none of that. But then how I help it because I would meditate. Like, I've been meditating for like two years now. But like, it's all about controlling your mind, controlling your thoughts. You feel me? Once you control your thoughts and really block it in yourself, I feel like you can be a better person because you know who you are 100%. You know why you did this or this, that, and the third. You know, that's kind of situations where in my life, where like, I can't do this because this happened to me. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, it's a flaw. I have to fix this flaw. Once I, I, I have to fix this flaw sooner or later, or I won't level up. You know, there's a situation I just had to go through recently I was around, around a certain person and the certain person done something and I couldn't be around this person you feel me I was still in the radius of this person but like yeah, I don't know it's force field you feel me but that's my mental force field against this person because how this person treated me when we were younger when I was younger yeah. you know what I mean? yeah. um but I got I gotta go to, I gotta get over it you feel me there's no there's no therapy or I guess I guess it ain't gonna help they're being gonna help, but I will say this: you gotta do a lot of self-reflection, a lot of self-reflection to get your mental intact. I done did a lot, a lot, and um, some sometimes even the black community has put like make made us mentally ill. You feel me? As far as in us killing each other, as far as us not helping our next brother or thinking we gotta not help us. You feel me? And like it ain't. I, I understand. Like yeah, you may not be the same quote unquote last name or kin or bloodline or whatever the case you want to perspective you want to say it. But you, you're me. You feel me? Like at the end of the day, bro, you're you're me, bro. You feel me you, you face the same challenges as I do. You feel me? Right. Maybe, you just- so how about anime and content creating? Does that help your mental health as well? Yeah, because I got ADHD, bro. So like, like if I, I gotta be productive. Like I, I train myself. Like I know what I want to do. I know my calling. I know I want to tell you my calling, but I know what I want to do in life. You feel me? It took me a while to know what I want to do in life. You feel me? It took, it took somebody else, to another content creator, to tell me like go, go for it, do it. You feel me? Because I didn't think I wasn't gonna be nothing because a certain somebody. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, as far as I, I used to be a reaction channel, and I got copyrighted and stuff like that, but. I, well, I met some other content creators, you feel me? And they tell me like, just do this, do that, you feel me? And then ever since then, bro, I've been an anime content creator, bro. So it's like, <laughs> it's, it's it, it turned out for the better because it, it does help my mental health. Like I said, I got ADHD, you feel me? So or I, I may not have it, but I was quote unquote diagnosed with it ever since I was, I don't know, but it helps me focus and lock in on something that I know that I actually love and do versus Versus me doing something I don't like to do, you feel, which that's a men, kind of like a mental health issue too. Cause I won't do nothing that I don't do, won't do, even if it's gonna. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna do. It, you feel me? But as far as in me editing my videos, I can lock in for hours, hours on Zen, bro. Um, no. Edit done. You feel me? Versus me sitting in bed, depressed. You feel me? And having that trauma always linger. You feel me? I can focus and lock in and get that out of my head for the time being. You know? Like some people, uh, I know some people smoke to get their trauma, drink, you feel me? No, I'd rather meditate, listen to music, whatever the case may be, edit my videos, you feel me? And when I make my content, bro, it, when I get done with it or finish, finishing editing and looking at it, I'm so happy because I did that. You feel me? Yeah, I might get it right. from people, but it's like once, once you finished editing chopping it up and you can post it on youtube bro it's like i did it you feel me like it's, yeah, a it's like the best feeling art. ever bro it's like a, a, it's, an accomplishment it's art, bro it's art to me and like to be honest like if anything happens to me bro you feel me the world can see my video you feel me i can last forever you know what i'm saying like long longevity you feel me but it it 
being a content creator, bro, is just like cool. And like, and it's your, you can work for your own self. It helps my, like I said, it, it really helps my mental, bro. Really. So like, I have times where I get so damn because I can't film. Do you feel mm -hmm. me? Because I know I know how much I want it. You feel me? And other people see how much I want it too, which this that's a, that's a good thing. You feel me? But it really, bro, helps my mental, bro. You feel me? Like recently, bro, I just my old video, bro, my recent video I'm editing now. Mm -hmm. I just had my, I went to Atlanta to film it and had my brother to go with me. My brother, and my cousin, to go with me. You feel me? My brother, he's not my brother, but he's like you can't tell that he's not my brother. You feel me? He's my life mentor. You feel me? But I felt so good to bring him down there to film me or be in a position that he can play a part. You feel me? And like, he's a, not saying he's a 100% cosplayer, but I made him play a character. You feel me? And before my videos, he was playing a character, but like, it wasn't really like established. You feel me? Like, he was based off by the name, Fool You. You feel me? Which is Fool You Films with my film company, you know? Uh, which stands for forever understand yourself ultimately which goes back to mental health you feel me <laughs> yeah so, uh, so uh that's what i feel that was part of the most proud proud moment i had i could have right now you feel me and then going to see my home girl in texas god rest her soul you feel me like she was she she believed in me you feel me so uh i had her in my, in my video you know so she was a key factor in the you film too so uh it just it just get I just it just helps my mental because I can put people in positions or have people or it can slingshot me to be in this interview now or like it can just help me, you know what I mean? And far as the stuff that helps my mental health, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like I I be showing mad support, bro, to people, bro. Black like, definitely us, bro. Definitely yeah. like I mean Man. definitely, bro. It ain't, it ain't like like I don't, I don't know, bro. Like you, you, you know, bro. Like you know, I be in the comments, bro. Yeah, like, you I show mad. Like, yeah, you show mad you know what I'm saying? Man. Like support. Like that is just that's one of the things that helped me, bro. Like it's just okay then, bro. Like if I can make somebody happy or show that myself, I'm not, I'm not one of these other. I want to say bad black people, bro, because everybody's not bad. But if I can be like, oh dang, so I can remember, remember me, or I can impact. Oh, Broski did always do this. To me, he was always kept, I guess, quote unquote, real, real, or he was always supporting me. bro. you feel me? That means I'm always, I'm always be embedded in your, in your soul, kind. Of, you feel me? So like, that's what I, I strive to be. Always a good person, and really show support no matter. If I don't get it back, even if I don't get it back, bro, it's in fact it's the act that I can help somebody else. Oh, but before we go into mental health, though, just please, this is for everybody watching. Please focus on your mental health. Please, I don't ask for nothing. No subscribe, any of that. As long as you take the time out for your mental health, bro, you did me a good justice, bro, whoever it is. All right? well, to, let's move on to relationships. Okay, in relationships, who leads, who follows, and where is the balance? Um, Who leads is, I feel like the man should lead. But if it depends what situation it is, like a hundred percent, like of course we grow we grow up to know who's head of the household. The men provide, the wives stay home, quote unquote, stay home, don't worry, they take care of the kids, take care of their home for the men. Um, and so I know in certain situations, bro, it's reversed, you know. And uh, and there's nothing wrong with it being reversed. There's nothing wrong with being reversed. It's just the simple fact that uh, long it's is the balance, bro. Is a it's the understanding. I feel like. Okay, then, like, you pay the light bill. Okay, then I pay the rent, you know? Right. But I feel like the man should should really provide. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, don't go out here and provide no freaking Gucci belt knowing that you can't provide no Gucci belt. You feel me? Uh, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no Birkin and everything. Now, if you can, some people will get it like that. Some like that's rapper do that. Okay. But uh, don't... Uh, don't go broke trying to to keep a balance or keep a certain lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So like the most successful people live under their means, you feel me? To be successful there. So uh, that's, just, that's, just, that's just like quick advice, but I've, the balance is understanding. I want to say it's 50-50, bro, but like that's the false reality, right? Right. <laughs> like, as a, now, 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 there are older folks that have it like that. There's probably people like our parents, like y'all, y'all's parents who are 
50 50 because they already married and everybody they already know how much money they make at the time they know how i need to put this right here i need to put that but far as an example here uh is that uh, say my dad doesn't know how to send send off bills you feel me my my hypothetically speaking my stepmom knows how to do it you feel me she will take that role you feel me she will lead off that role you know what i'm saying and my dad will give her the money you will trust her with the money but like I said, all the kids and my dad would do the household. My, my stepmom would clean. You feel me? Or my dad would do both. You feel me? Or he would try to learn how to do it. Because you feel me? I feel like at one point in time, bro, you, feel me? you ain't all a female there. You know, you have nailed it. You feel me? There's some females who can freaking build a car. I don't know how to build a car yet. You feel me? <laughs> and, and ain't nothing wrong with taking that manly role. Are black men and black women in compliance with each other? Do you feel like we're on the same page as a community? I would say this, social media has made it that way. You feel like social media has created? Yeah. So you think social media has created- Like comp uh, competitiveness. Competitiveness, you think it's social media? Uh, why do you think that? Um, because I, I, I guess it's like, we uh it's just certain females in hip hop, whatever 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 genre of music bro, it's like, it's everywhere, bro. We think we uh, we don't need this, we don't need a female, we we're not supposed to love. I want one minute a guy will preach that or rap that he don't it's F these girls, you feel me? F girls get money M O B. But then the same the same rapper, bro, the same rappers will have one girl, one wife. But you will still say I'm gonna slap these girls down. You feel me? Like you're lying to yourself, bro. Then there's other popular females who will be like, I don't need a nigga, this, that, and the third. I don't need a guy, I don't need this, that, and the third. I got my own money. But in reality, bro, you feel me? You still need somebody, bro. And then that's when some females will go to the other side. And some of when the other guys will go to the other side. You feel me? Like, you can't you can't be like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, everybody will want want another companion, companionship, you feel me? But uh, we're so, we're so, definitely our generation, he was like, we grew up where it's like it's really f everybody you know what i'm saying like get your own you can get do your that. own yeah being yourself yeah. so do you think of uh, social media another cause of that uh is social media is creating like unrealistic relationships Go. yeah bro don't get me wrong now it's good don't get me wrong like some of our motivational some of them are some certain people are motivational don't don't go out your way to uh to please a girl because you think the Gucci man sent his girl uh, 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 a bus down. That's unrealistic, bro. You feel me? Like that's his wife, bro. He has the money. He has the realistic money to do that. You feel me? Right. But don't don't go out here rob somebody just because you try to get a Gucci bag for, for your girl. Right. Your bus down. Your Gucci bag might be just some roses or like a, a fine dinner or a, or a nice hotel. Yeah, bro. That's simple, bro. But like I said, like social media has messed it up because, like I said, we're so. Social media in general, bro, like, there's a reason why it's called well, social media because everybody can socialize. You, know, you feel me? But most of the time, social media, bro, has been bad. A lot of stuff on social media, the most, the most viral stuff is for a, for a perspective of bad. If that makes sense. Like, whether it be like from the comedy skits, from the rappers promoting it, bro, you feel me? There's so many comedy skits that, that diss men the black men and then this the female community bro you feel me but it's all in the sake of comedy really no that's some truth to that you feel me i agree if that makes sense you know so we just need to stop then some 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 narr narratives need to stop bro because now we're going to have having kids bro you feel me my niece is gonna have to grow up with all of this you feel me knowing that oh, uh, she's she supposed to not uh, somebody's not supposed to take care of her, or like, or she's not supposed to, she's supposed to be independent 100. percent But then when you do, when you do that, that's when you're gonna start doing extra stuff that, that you don't need to be doing, bro. So right. Is simping a good idea, and what is your experience with simping? Uh, <laughs> oh my they got a story time. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do I? It. I would say this now. I have simped before, probably one. Like, but, but, that's it. That's it. but you do what you do but do you want to share uh, do you want to share but like girl bro like she was my best friend like like we had a like not like a connection but he's just like we were just so comfortable around each other like i done helped her like 
her mom, her mom, her mother only knew how to be a, a, a provider, not a mother. You feel me? So like, I used to go over and help her clean up in her crib, this, that, and the third, make sure her, her, her baby sits was okay, make sure they had food, this, that, and the third. I asked times where I was at my old, my old crib with my homie, and I would spend four or five days going to work and coming back over there just because I, I wanted to be around her so much. You feel me? And like, I wanted to protect her. You feel me? She, she, she liked it, but she didn't really understand the concept. Or like, we went together, you just showing, I was just trying to show her. Like, I'm here for you, you feel me, this time and third. But, like, I had to realize that, like, she wasn't using me or nothing like that, but it's just, like, she just didn't know how to react to me. And I'm like, now it's like, when I see her, I get disappointed, bro. Like, that's the only girl on this, like, on, on this earth that I get disappointed, man. Because it's like, dang, bro. She slipped like, on you or something? Uh, she st- basically, nah. she, she slipped on you? Yeah, like, she just, like, she, like, she, like she's the part of the only guy that really broke my heart. Like, damn, bro. But now, bro, like her dad, but one day her dad was like, I like, he was, he, I don't think I can't remember if he was turned up, but he was like, I wish my daughter would not too. You feel me? And at the time, I didn't have nothing, bro. At the time, I, I was just working. I was, at the time, I was just working, bro. Like, I, I didn't really have, I didn't, I, I was doing nothing like I'm doing now. I was a nine to five person. You feel me? Just loving her, appreciating her, going out her way for her, pick up her, um, his, his sister, her, her sisters, you feel me, from school. You feel me? Uh, making sure they come back home, making sure they straight, making sure they had some food. You feel me? This and the third, go back home, pay my bill, go back over there. You feel me? So it's just like you was doing it. a lot. Yeah, you yeah. Doing a lot like, like, like I said, I'm a I'm a natural kind person, bro. So it's like if I get attached to you, bro. Now I'm not gonna do that, bro. I I, I gotta train myself to get back like that. But Luigi, bro. After her, bro, it's like I can't like I don't get paranoid, but like I get like damn, bro. Like, does the girl really like me, bro? Is it you really just liking me because what I can do for you? You feel me? So it's like kind of it kind of she kind of messed me up. You feel me? But it's like it, mm-hmm. I, I, I over, but like she done got kids and stuff like that. So like her mom, even her mom, bro, she was like, bro, I'm like I wish her. She 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 was like I don't want to say her name though, but she was like, yeah, you should. Uh, you should have been with him. See, you know? nah, see, they see they want <laughs> see they want the simp version of you though. See, nah, yeah. they wanted you to do everything for us. So that's why they wanted yeah. you to be with. See, that ain't right. Nah, you, you yeah. know, no so, simp versions. But like I like as far as like I said, some situations, but it could have worked out for me. It could have it could have worked out with me. We could have been happily married. You feel me? Who know? Who know? You feel me? But like I said, no. not, not, don't simp every. You feel me? Don't simp every single time. But like if you on the same page. Got together, whatever the case may. You can sit, like test the water. Oh, or something. Like no, like, like but like I'm not saying like 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 like, 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 like when I say this, I'm saying like on some like cinder roses or something like or take. Her uh, out. A, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a girl. yeah do do nice things. Don't buy no Gucci belt. You feel me? Thinking that you you you, you gonna get some You feel me? Oh uh, yeah. But that's, do that's do nice I'm things for like, yeah. Do nice things for yeah. your girl. Yeah. <laughs> but like I was like already invested in her. Cause I, like I said, like we had good communication, this, that, and the third, bro. Like she used to call me and stuff like that. Like it was the point where like, she will call me at three o'clock in the morning. I would just sleep at work. And I would stop what I'm doing at work just to make sure she's okay. You feel me? So like, oh. but like I would get my work done, but I would have a call and they'd be like, hey, what's up? I'm right here stocking or something. Let me go back to work. You feel me? I don't know how you did that. <laughs> I, got, I got experiences too, but let's move on. Uh, do you have any tips for self improvement? Yeah, a lot, bro. Um, how I self improve, bro. I listen to a lot of interviews, a lot of podcasts. That's why I do podcasts because <laughs> I love podcasts it's very in general. Um, it, look up for self improvement, bro. I done did so many self improvement, self reflection, watching different YouTube videos, bro. How to improve. You feel me? Even like yours, bro. There's red pill, blue pill. You feel me? Those type of videos are like how to carry yourself a certain way, how to treat people different, how to keep your mental intact. You feel me? In certain situations, like I, I, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. You feel me? As far as in a not even being, not even, not even searching for content, just trying to get information to better myself and improve on myself. You feel me? Just surround yourself with like-minded people. That's better. That's better than you. Or like in the same page. You feel me? Like my brother's older, my, my brother, my life mentor is older than me, bro. You feel me? He, he would tell me, like, if I, if I mess up, bro, he would tell me, bro. He would literally tell me, bro, 
all right, bro, you're, you're, you're effing up. You feel me? Calm down. Say this. Say it right there. You feel me? Wait on this. You know that sometimes I have went against the grain and, and kind of calculated my thoughts and did something that he told me not to do it, but then it turned out good. But this is a small thing, like buying something to film with or something. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, yeah, sometimes to you got to invest in yourself. Yeah, bro. So, uh, but the best thing is please surround yourself with like-minded people. Bro. Like, I can't, I can't shut that enough. Bro. You feel me? Because whether it be, I don't, I'm, 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 I talk to a content creator like, like you, bro, or like Kaya, there's whoever, my homies, bro. You feel me? And it's just like, okay, then I can, you can learn. I can, I can learn from like everybody. You feel me? You're never too old to learn. You feel me? And you just because you're younger than me, right? I know you're older than me, right? I'm older than you, yeah. Yeah, so like just because you're older than me doesn't mean you can't learn from me, you know? So like never be, y'all never be scared to to learn, you feel me? Even if even if it sounds dumb as heck or you sound you look dumb, bro. Everybody's not smart, bro. Everybody's not dumb. And also somebody just told me that this, bro, a couple weeks ago, bro. Like ne- nobody's dumb. Nobody's, nobody's dumb or smart. It's either known or the unknown. You feel me? It's just lack of lack of knowledge, bro. So like with that perspective. So like, that's, that's, that's a positive. Hey, that's a positive perspective. You know, I still think some people don't, but that's a positive outlook on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think so. no, a lot of people don't. Let's not break it up. <laughs> but yeah, um, you just reflect. Do a lot of self reflection, and my thoughts just wander a lot. So like, I will I will bring back stuff that's five five years ago, six years ago that would hurt me, and I gotta really figure out and go back in my subconscious to really understand why it hurt me so i gotta dive deep you feel me deep in your soul to be like okay you gotta you gotta overcome it you gotta overcome it you feel me and definitely i'll definitely be in depression stuff like that you gotta overcome it but i would say this that's what i'm gonna say this to give y'all a real situation like i woke up one day depressed as heck and i was like are you gonna are you gonna keep being depressed and let this depression win or are you gonna get up and pick yourself up and ever since then, bro, I ain't never looked back. You feel me? And I quote this for my dad. My dad told me, don't let nobody stop you. Not even me, son. That's my dad. Who, who loves me. Who, you feel me? So don't let nobody stop you for what you want to do. Now, if you're doing wrong, nip in the bud. You feel me? Stop yeah. doing it. It's different. Okay, bro. That was a. That, I really liked the last part of it, bro. I appreciate you for going on the show. Make sure y'all subscribe to Broski Nico. Make sure y'all subscribe to me. Make sure y'all hitting both of our notification bells. Sure. Go ahead, peace them out, Nico. He says, peace them out. Uh, yeah. Let them know your information. Huh? Oh, my it? social media. My social media is Broski Nico. It'd be over here somewhere. I don't know, somewhere. Uh, I got Twitch. My Twitch is Broski Nico. Uh, my. My Instagram is Broski Nico. My other Instagram for my film company is Fuyu Films uh, underscore F U Y U F I L M S underscore. And that's it. Thank you for having me here. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, bro. And a million subs coming soon. <laughs> yes, sir. With the iPod, I bought a tripod. I got the mic, dog. Think I found the right job. Right job. Making plays for they try to cut the lights off. Lights Second films, I swear I never get a night off. Look at me crazy, cause I swear it don't phase me. All these blocks in the making, ain't got time to be lazy.